Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where today I have a fun Marquise the Cat endgame puzzle. This game is part of the Root Digital League over on the Woodland Warriors Discord. If you have not participated in this league before, if you have not heard of it, I'm going to link it in the description and the pinned comment. Go ahead and check it out. It's a great time. You play some great players. You get a lot better at Root. Go check it out. As for this game, we have quite the interesting board state right now. We can see that the Crows are at 27, the Erie at 25, and the Riverfolk at 23. And if we just check the Riverfolk's funds real quick to make sure, mm, it might be close. But we can say that the Crows are definitely in range of a win and the Erie are in range of a win as well. And so the odds of us getting another turn are very low. So we arrive at the conclusion that we need to swing for the win on this turn. And now the question comes about, how are we going to do that? So go ahead and pause the video here and see if you can come up with a solution that gets to 30 victory points. All right, so now it is time to try and solve this. Let's see what we can come up with here. So we have three sawmills left on the map, two of them at our keep and one in the middle of the map in a clearing that we barely have rule over. It's important to note that a lot of the clearings we have rule over, we can't afford to move warriors out of, right? So this clearing in the bottom right, we have three cats to two crows. So we can't afford to move any cats out of that clearing or we won't rule it anymore. Here we have two cats and a sawmill to the two otters, meaning we can't move any cats out or we won't rule it. Here we have one warrior's worth of leeway to move out and we'll still rule if we do so. That is gonna be important, uh, so keep that in mind. So we need to score seven points to make it to 27. And so how are we gonna do that? Well, the first thing we wanna do is check the Riverfolk Company's hand. You can see that they have the mouse ambush and the rabbit ambush, which are important for if we wanna battle their trade posts. And here's what we're looking for, a bird card. So they do have the bird ambush in hand and we do have six warriors. So that means no matter what their price is set to, we can purchase it, it is set to four. So we can only make one purchase. Um, I don't really think we need those cards for our purposes in this end game anyway, outside of that bird card. So that accounts for three ambushes. We might need to know where the other ambushes are. So let's just take a quick look in the discard pile and see if we can find anything else important. There's the second bird ambush, uh, but we don't see the fox. So the fox ambush is not accounted for. And so now we need to go about getting our seven points. We can check our own board and see that our next sawmill is worth three points, as well as our next recruiter, both costing three wood. And then we have no workshops on the map, so if we want to score any points from workshops, we'll need to build two of them. With two bird cards, we will have five actions total. So, like I said before, we need seven points. We're going to be generating three wood this turn, and that will get us one building. So we can build a sawmill or a recruiter for three points. That'll get us to 26. We need to find the remaining four. We've got some trade posts around the map that we can battle, notably this one that's defenseless, which will give us a free point. If that could get us to 27, we would need three more. We could attack this other trade post, which is lightly defended, but notably, if we lose a warrior in that battle, we no longer rule. So if we want to attack that trade post, we should build first, then battle the trade post. We can get three from the sawmill, and we can get two from building a workshop, which only needs one wood. So we'd only need to overwork once in order to get those two extra points. Three points from the uh, sawmill plus two from the workshop gets us to 28, which means we need two points from cardboard. And so this trade post is a great candidate, as is this one, but like I said, we need to build there first. We'd also need a third building slot in order to do this. And so I came to the conclusion that there's no way to get the three building slots, as well as the two pieces of cardboard in five actions. We would need six. Unfortunately, we don't have six until you consider Erie Emigre. With Erie Emigre, we can get a point of cardboard and a new building slot in one move by moving two warriors here and battling the Erie with Erie Emigre. You'll recall though that the fox ambush is not accounted for. So if they have the fox ambush, we will not be able to win the game. If they, we don't roll a two or higher as the attacker, we again will not win the game. So those are two sources of randomness that could screw up our game here. 
and unfortunately we can't account for the ambush as attacker because if we move any more warriors out of here, we will not rule the clearing and therefore the wood will not be able to travel to its destination. So, the solution would look like this. We will use Eerie Emigre to move two warriors into this clearing, battle. As a result of the battle, rule the clearing and have a building slot, getting one point from this Eerie Roost, putting us at 24. We then build one sawmill and one workshop for zero wood among these two clearings. We would overwork and build in this clearing two points from that workshop. And then we need to spend a bird card to attack this defenseless trade post for 30. Uh, but you might have noticed that I have not started carrying out that solution yet, and that's because uh, while I was further pondering, while that was the solution that came to me first, there is in fact a better one. And gosh, I, this video is really stuttering. I, I don't, I haven't changed any settings. I don't know why it's doing this, so I apologize. Uh, but hopefully the uh, the final output is still watchable enough. Yeah, there is a solution that requires no randomness. So if you don't have that in your mind yet and you want to get it, uh, feel free to pause the video right now and think about it. All right, so welcome back. And now we will be putting the uh, no RNG required solution into place. So as I noted at the beginning of the video, if I move a warrior out of this clearing, I will still rule it. I will have the recruiter and two cats. And that's really important because that means we can move one cat from this clearing into this clearing for Eerie Emigre and not lose our chain of rule for the purposes of building. So we can skip the field hospital. We are still going to buy this hand card, of course, from the river folk for four funds. Now we've got two bird cards to work with. We can go ahead and use our Eerie Emigre here. And then after that, the solution becomes, since we have two build slots, we can build here a sawmill. Then we can overwork three times using our mouse, two mouse cards and our bunny card at our corresponding sawmills to get three more wood and then build in this clearing a recruiter or sawmill because both of them would cost three wood and net us the victory. And so I'm going to go ahead and use Eerie Emigre and I'm going to have to pause because it will ask the otters if they want to ambush, but I will continue the recording afterwards to update everyone on the game. So yeah, let's go ahead and declare the river folk as our opponents. And now they have to decide if they want to ambush and we'll be back. All right, so we're back real quick to finish this recording. And it appears that the otters have elected to play their ambush. We will still rule so we can go ahead and decline to counter ambush. We will remove the trade post, which gets us up to 24 points. And in the end, we still rule. Uh, we will skip field hospital because we need those cards. No crafting, of course. And so we're just gonna go ahead and overwork with our swap meet. Then we're gonna overwork with our crossbow and finally our investments. So now we have six wood on the board. We can go ahead and spend our bird ambush as well as our soup kitchens on hawks for hire. And that's gonna get us the two remaining actions we need to build in these clearings to win the game. I do think it's interesting that I was overcomplicating this solution by trying to find a way to f claim a third building slot and build two workshops because I was blind to the fact that I could overwork three times. I think I just have a, an aversion to multiple overworks in a turn because, you know, an overwork is a whole action and as the cats you don't have that many actions so you can't really afford to overwork. In the end game, it is a valuable tool that I think I overlook too much and uh, maybe you did as well and so maybe this video was helpful for you. If you found the solution, congratulations. If you did not, well, congratulations as well. You just learned a very useful new strategy for closing out the game as the Marquise the Cat. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.